All right, hey guys, um, welcome to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of this game. I, this is gonna be part of a new series. It's called Let's Dick Around. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna play a game once, not gonna necessarily play it again after that. Uh, I mean, I, I might pick it up at some point again for like another little bit, but nothing nothing too major. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this game. So you start off, you've got, uh, uh, I've unlocked some, some things. I've played this game for a little bit. But uh, you start off with just the adventure mode, and then you unlock these two um, after you've played for a little bit. So let's let's just start our adventure. adventure. Between 1830 and 70, half a million Americans migrated west over wagon trails. This is the story, one party of three, and their adventure. So, all right. So I've got uh, I've already I've already set these up. I've got myself, my dad, and a human decoy. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with this. But the way this works is. Uh, you know, the first you name your person, and then you choose uh, gender, and then you choose how they look, and then you can you can edit it a little bit more past that. But uh, uh, let's see. I guess I'll go with, uh, with this, and then, yeah. So it just kind of keeps going like that. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll make my dad uh, some. We'll make him this guy, a hipster mustache. Human decoy, fair lady. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can you can edit these and uh, and change like the hair and, and eye color and all that stuff individually, but uh, none of that shit matters. Okay, there we go. Let's do it. We've got some. We've got me, uh, a pedophile, and a girl. This this should work. Not to say that my dad's a pedophile, obviously, just that um, he looks like one right now. Uh, so okay, let's let's do it. They traveled in their trusty wagon. So the way this works is um, you've got all these different wagons, uh, but you start off with just this one, and then as you play the game and do do different adventure, or, or complete different different objectives, I guess you could call it, um, or, or accomplish various tasks, and then you unlock other wagons. Um, so there's all kinds of ones here. I'm not going to show you uh, all of them. I'm just going to do this one right now. So the standard, completely average. Let's do it. Day one. They set off into the forest. So, seeing day eight, seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead, they needed to stock up on their food for the long journey. So, you, all you can really do is just, uh, oh, gotta avoid that, that's a skunk. It's just, uh, there we go, yeah, I got a flamethrower! Remember that in the, in, in the 1800s? Yeah, come here, come here, animals! Yeah! So the skunks leave behind damage areas, but a uh, posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. Oh, snap! Occasionally you'll find a little health ups there. Oh no, I wanted that. That was more flamethrower ammo. So your your whole wagon is like a, a big hitbox, and uh, this this scene won't end until I kill all the bandits. But yeah, your whole wagon is just a hitbox. The the buffalo in the front here, I'll show you. See, you can you can touch something else like an enemy with the front of your buffalo, but other than that, yeah. So. Um, so you can see I've got pelts in the upper right, and every time you kill an kill a, an animal that it has salvageable oh machine gun arm bandit wagon what? Every time you kill a you kill an animal and you can salvage its hide, um, you uh, you can walk over it to collect its pelt and use that to buy stuff later. Oh shit! There we go. Dad left the wagon to look for wild berries. Look out, Dad! This isn't gonna go well. It never does! Oh shit! On his way back to the wagon, Dad noticed an entrance to a cave. He decided to investigate. Oh no! Don't go in! God damn it! So you don't have a choice. This, you can't... You can't leave! You have to go in! It's very dark inside. Yeah! No kidding. Upon lighting a torch, he found it was filled with giant spiders! What the fuck? No! Get away from me! So, you can actually... Collect these things as hides. I'm gonna try and there we go. Dad ran from the cave back to the wagon. Day 16, they reached a river crossing. Human decoy had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Uh. Hmm. Well, they both seem like like uh, very smart options here. Um, they, they they both seem equally viable, I would say. So let's just jump it. Got a running start, and leapt from the top of a ledge. 
That's what I'd do. Somehow they made it across. However, they landed near a den of bears, and the large thud woke the bears. Oh no! What? Shit! No! Get away, bears! Fuck! Ah! 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 Okay. Ow, fuck! Took my first bit of damage. Entered into the Great Plains. Slept or became ill with Scarlet Fever. Oh, joy. And now he has one heart left. Day whoa, they came across a large herd of buffalo. Oh no! These buffalo look freaky! What the fuck kind of buffalo is this shit? There we go. Ouch! Death. Trampled a bison slept or two. Day description. What the fuck? So this is one of the, uh... The slepter's dead. All that's left is dad and human decoy. Uh, error, unhandled exception. What? What is this shit? Oh no! Kill the glitch! Fuck! There we go. <laughs> Day 27, they came across a fur trader. So that was just one of the little things that could happen. Get the glitch thing. Fur trader offered them supplies in exchange for animal hides. Um... Hmm. Well, I, I mean, I could... I, could, uh, I guess I could heal human decoy. There we go. Alright, let's do it. Or distant gunshots. You don't really need any of the other things. You'll find power-ups all over the place. Someone might need their help. Alternatively, they could ignore the gunshots and continue on. Now, nah, let's stick our nose where it doesn't belong. Riding towards the gunshots, they saw bandits were robbing a train. They rode alongside the train. Yeah, I'm really bad at this part. I'm not good at this. Bandits fired down the wagon for the train. Of course. You can't, you can't shoot them. You can only shoot forward, so... Ouch! Fuck! on horseback noticed the wagon too. Of course they did. Fuck! 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 Damn it! Machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. Oh, fuck! Couldn't get that health up. Couldn't get it. Oh my god! Conductor gave them a hundred animal hides. Man! I'll take that. Almost dead now. Day 35 at night, Dad decided to look for a flower for human decoy. He'd grown fond of human decoy during their travels. Oh god. No, pedophile. Sorry, Dad. I love you. I really do. Dad brought the flower back to camp and gave it to human decoy. Oh, jeez. What's... Oh, I love you too, human decoy replied. The two went into the wagon to relax. Oh man, I don't need to know about... I don't... Oh, oh, human decoy got HP back. Later, Dad needed to relieve himself, so he left the camp again. And, of course, when you know it, it was a zombie. Fuck! No! Get away from me, zombies! No! 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 There we go. Seemed this disease had also spread to animals. Of course! Why wouldn't it? So this is the uh, the rifle that I just picked up. It kind of locks onto enemies. Which is kind of nice. So you may have noticed you can't... You cannot pick up uh, zombified animal hides. <laughs> That's, uh... I guess their hides are no longer good for that, huh? Dad couldn't believe what had happened, or that he had survived. Uh, day 43, they reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Okay. So jump over this one too, then? Human decoy had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go around it through, the, through a desert path. Um... I'm gonna go for swim, just because I'm trying to beat this. 
I took a deep breath and then jumped in. What? What is this shit? Water buffalo, buffalo, water buffalo. What? What do you mean water buffalo? What the fuck? What is this shit? Ouch! Ouch! No! No! Knocked human decoy unconscious. She inhaled water and died. So it's just dad now. That's it. Love of your life is gone, dad. Sorry. She did. I don't know why I grabbed that. That was a bad idea. Dad landed on a small island to catch his breath. Oh my god. I have one. I can get hit one more time. There was some supplies sitting on the beach. He left the wagon to investigate. Oh, I hope it's health. Uh, well, yeah. A little bit. Dad didn't realize why the supplies were left there. The beach was infested with giant crabs. Oh. Yay. Ah! Ah! No! Jesus! Could have left the island and swam to the shore of the river. Ha ha ha. entered a mountain pass. Okay. Move it along. Still got some AK bullets. Dad got tuberculosis. What? Dad- WHAT?! WHAT?! <laughs> so there you go. There's my first- my first run here in this- in this playthrough, or in this, uh, little session. Uh, super amazing wagon adventure! Um, uh, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> I'm gonna pick some different options and show you, uh, what else you can get. So, yeah, I set the text speed to be a little bit slower before I started. Um, just so that, uh, so that I'd be able to read things. Uh, they travel in that trusty wagon. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the standard one again. See some animals. So this always happens first. Um, come on. This gives you a chance to get a few, uh... Aw, oh, damn it! To get a few skins here before you get started. Now this is the laser. The only thing about the laser is that, uh... It doesn't, uh... It doesn't leave any skins behind whenever you kill animals with it. Ah! Jerks. Ah! If I can kill their horse too, then I can get the skin from it. You can take your time at the beginning here. Machine gun arm bandit. It's pretty easy to dodge their bullets and everything. Just don't stand in front of them. Ouch! Damn it! Spoke too soon. See how the rifle uh, automatically aims for him? That's pretty neat. Yeah, human decoys getting the berries this time. Oh shit. What's gonna happen? Heard noise in the trees. A bear wanted the berries. Well, you can't have them, bear. They're mine. In its last dying breath, the bear let out a cry for help. The bear's extended family heard the cry. Of course it did! Of course it did. Okay, I don't need that yet, so I'm not gonna take that. Oh god! No! No! Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's get all these skins first. There we go. Reach the river crossing. Alright. So this time, I'll just ford it, and I'll show you what happens when you do that. Alright, let's do it. They made the probably wise decision to ford the river. I don't know about probably wise. There were boulders in the river. Of course there were. This couldn't be easy. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, uh, there we go. There were a lot of boulders in the river. Fuck. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, there we go. Something something boulders. Yay. Right, this one's pretty easy. Looks a lot more intimidating than it is. Finally they reached the other side of the river. Entered into the Great Plains. So you always end up here either way. More buffalo glitches? Yep, another buffalo glitch. What the fuck?
I like how it still gives you the hides for them, even though they're all fucked up. Day number, scene description. Oh god, giant buffalo. Now I have the grenade launcher, a rocket launcher. Boom! Boom, bitches. Unhandled exception. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Fuck you, glitch! Ouch! Fuck! There we go. Alright, what you got for me, buddy? Uh, offer them supply- oh, okay, supplies again. Sometimes you'll get a weapon upgrade, so or a, a wagon upgrade instead. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go... Yeah, I, it's, it's, I think it's kind of silly to buy uh, weapons, because the weapons run out really fast, and then you could just find more anyway. So, I heard distant gunshots. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do this time. I don't need those hundred furs if it gets me killed, so I'm just gonna ignore the gunshots and continue on. Human decoy noticed a strange smell coming from a nearby camp. She decided to investigate. Um... Human decoy felt sick. Yeah, well, everybody else here looks sick too. Oh no! Decoy! Saw an antique pistol sitting near the camp. She picked it up on her way back to the wagon. That's your, that's your gun. Alright. On her way back to the wagon, human decoy heard a noise coming from the tall grass. Oh, Jesus! It was a diseased monkey! What the fuck? Yeah, so you don't want to get hit by those uh, spots they leave behind, obviously. Oh, fuck! Didn't seem happy or healthy. And they just pwned me. Not return to the wagon they left without her. Well, you tried. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Yeah, you have to, you have to beat that disease part without getting hit, so... Slept had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Apparently they could go around it through a desert path. Alright, I'll show you the desert path. I'm better at the underwater one, but let's go around. They made the probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river. They entered into the desert. Yeah, easier to maneuver wagon for 60 animal hides, but I don't have anywhere near that much, so. Oh, goodness! Okay. Actually, let's, yeah, let's go with the AK. I like that better. I can get hides with this, and it lasts a lot longer. Of course, I get, I get those, uh, man-eating giant scorpions were even more deadly. Of course they were! No! Get away from me, Scorpions! Damn it. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Oh, yep. Gotta be careful with your Ah! Bullets. No! I noticed some supplies in the sand on the side of the trail. Slept or left the wagon to investigate. Yeah, this seems familiar. Alright, here we go. Uh, he was in a giant ant hill of giant ants. Excellent. Ah, oh, fuck! Fuck! I keep coming! No! Oh, so I lived. Oh, somehow. I was gonna try and collect all those hides before I died. Or before I... Ah, uh, whatever. Food supplies were dwindling. I had to hunt. There we go, carpet bomb! Yeah! That doesn't help me with my hides at all. Pack of wolves smelled the blood. Of course they did. Fuck you, wolves. I wanted the flamethrower. Fuck. Another fur trader, huh? Maybe I've got enough furs for him this time. Uh, supplies. Uh, well, alright, yeah. 
I'll take supplies. Oh, 53 freaking furs for one health kit, you son of a bitch. Got me over a barrel. Mountain Pass is cold, so at night they drank to stay warm. Oh no. No, this is a bad idea. Inebriated, Slipper left the wagon to relieve himself. Oh god. Oh god. Unfortunately, it's drunk and stumbling. Attracted the attention of some bears. Of course it did. Oh fuck! No, 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 no! No! Yep. No way out of that. Slipper did not return to the wagon. Dad left without him stricken with grief. He accidentally drove off a cliff. Oh. Alright, well. But that's not the end of the story. Some eagles attacked the wagon. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? I can still only fire forward. Oh no! No! Get away from me, eagles! Fuck you! No! Oh god. Alright, here we go. Here, here we go. I'm gonna beat this game. I'm gonna do it this time. This time for sure. The wagon fell into a spiral of light. What? What is happening? Tripping balls. And the lights faded. Dad landed on a strange trail made of rock. He continued forward. Heh. <laughs> of course. Wait, what the fuck? This is a highway. Horseless metal wagons came hurtling towards Dad. What the fuck? Ah! Son of a bitch! Ah! Okay, nope. There we go. Okay, some men in a black and white metal wagon tried to get Dad to pull to the side of the trail. Dad suspected the men were bandits, so he continued down the trail. This isn't good, Dad. You're you're making some some poor decisions here. The men in the metal wagons opened fire. Of course they did. No. Do I have to kill him? Oh, jeez, I do. Fuck. Fuck. I got an AK now, bitch. Oh, I only got one hit left in me. Okay. Men had some kind of flying machine. What? What? Are you kidding me? No! Dad bled to death on the ground after a bullet hit his neck. Well. Wow. And then it just charges you. Uh, more men arrive and hold the wreckage of the wagon off the trail. Well, that was a uh, super basic wagon adventure. <laughs> uh, hope, hope that you enjoyed it. Here, I'm going to do a little bit of, of survival and show you this. So this is just, uh, these are different events that can happen, and then once you survive them, then you unlock the survival mode. Um, so, for example, just deserts. Uh, my best time is three and a half minutes. I'm not going to get that, though, I, I assure you. So the idea is you are just here, and you're trying to survive an endless wave of like scorpions, there's scorpions, uh, vultures, and snakes. So, let's see how far I can get this time. Music's not bad. Gets a little repetitive if you've done this a million times. Well, that was my first hit. Yeah, and the furs don't matter in this case. There's no fur trader. So, pelts as it may be. Okay, I'm not doing too bad right now, but, uh, so, like, every, the key to this is that, like, every 20 seconds or so, uh, it speeds up. It gets a little bit harder. Oh, shit. It might be, it might be 30 seconds, I'm not sure. Oh, nice! Look at that shit. That deserves a slow-mo replay. Oh, fuck! Okay, here we go. Oh, shit! Shit! Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, the, the only ones you really need to be worried about are those scorpions, because they chase you down. Fuck! Dick! Oh, yeah, so this is the, uh, the magic, uh, the alien gun, actually, I think. Um, there's a, yeah, there's an alien encounter uh, event as well. <laughs> there's all kinds of different shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Back up to 11 hit points. We're, we're doing all right. We just need to... Just need to out fuck. No, oh, no. Get away from me. Get away from me, scorpions. Fuck. All right. Yeah. What one nice thing about going a little bit faster though is that it makes it easier to dodge the scorpions. Um, I like to chase you down. There we go. Fuck. Damn it. 
Ah, fuck. Fuck me. All right, all right, all right. Still got this. It's still, we can still do this. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. No. Damn it, damn it. There goes one of my survivors. Fuck. Not a survivor anymore. Shit. But that black guy in the back's just... He's just chilling while everybody else dies. Fuck! Any dead animals made an exception to eat Ruth alive. Aw, uh, poor Ruth. Oh, yeah, now I get health ups. Yeah, now, now I get health ups now that they can't do me any good. Because everybody who was damaged is dead. Fuck. Ugh. Now, if you can get... If you can last the three minutes and you get three stars, which is the best rating. Um... Every minute gives you another star. Okay. Yeah, flamethrower is good here. Anything gets in front of you, you can just roast it. Fuck. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, lived, I lived to three minutes at least, so just noticed. Can't stare at that clock. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh man, I can't believe I got that that health pack without losing any health. I might actually beat my record now that I got the flamethrower again. I don't know. I'm gonna count my chicks for their hatch, but I don't believe it. Ah, oh, fuck! No. Okay, okay, okay. It's it's fine. Just speeding up a little bit more. I got the shotgun. Fuck. 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 Okay. Okay. Ah! Damn it! One hit left. One hit left. And it's all over but the crying. Okay, there we go. Two. Oh! Oh, two again. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Man, four minutes. This is... I'm gonna be honest, this is the longest I've survived on any of these survival challenges. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. Don't speak too soon, Steven. Don't speak too soon! No! I don't need this. This is useless. Okay, there we go. Oh! Oh, that was so close. Oh, and that's... There it goes. That's where it ends. I beat my old time by, like, a minute, though. At least. So, not that it matters. Um, it doesn't... Once you've gotten three stars, you've gotten three stars. So, yeah. Four and a half minutes. I'll show you, like... Hard to bear, I got three and a half. Uh, pain on the plane, three minutes. Uh, that's the one I just did. That one, three and a half. Howling good time. Okay, I got four and a half on that one too, but yeah. So, so yeah, they're just, they're just more of those, uh, similar to, to the one that I just showed you. So, anyway, and then shuffle is, uh, well, that's, that's just another mode. You know what? I think, I think this video served its purpose. Um, shuffle's just kind of this thing where it just gives you random events, uh, over and over, day after day, to see how long you can survive. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this convinces you to buy Super Amazing Wagon Adventure if you didn't know about it or uh, previously were uninterested. It is $3, I think, on Steam, so it's really cheap, and it's a, it is a lot of fun. Um, even if I didn't beat it, you know, it, it, it takes, it takes some, some getting used to, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.